to see if a property has been previously listed, all you do is go to the smart bar and you type in the address. Now what you'll see is that you'll get all these suggested um, options and I suggest that you don't and you just type in the address and you hit enter. And by doing this, what this will do is this will pull up a table view of all the times the property was listed. Now to see the last time the property was listed, you just look at the MLS number and you can see the higher the MLS number indicates the last time it was listed. So that is how you find your old MLS listings. Simply click on the MLS number and then this will bring the page up for the individual MLS listing. If you want to either print out or save a copy of it, click the print icon up here. And then what you'll do is you'll have to actually select the full agent if you wanted the agent view here. And then you have to go back up and click save as PDF and this will allow you to save the PDF directly to your computer and it says click here ready to download and then what it usually does is it downloads in some kind of file name that you would never recognize here so after that is downloaded you can simply go to your downloads folder if I click downloads here or a lot of times it pops up in the top right the bottom right hand corner and then I can click you know, it'll typically try to open, but I'll just click Show in Folder. And then I can rename this to be exactly what I want it to be. So I just do a right click, click on Rename, and then I can name so I can easily rename the document right there. So that is how to download the old MLS sheet.